Warning, this content is not for kids. If you're a kid, fuck off. Post days being, I think I know what this is. Fucking, these scissors are meant to be good, look. Oh, oh. Look, they sound like they're sharp. If I think it is what it is, it'll be the best card game the world has ever seen. <laughs> Thank you for buying Fu Man cards. Enjoy the game. Marek. That Marek is Marek Larwood. He created the game. You all know Marek Larwood. He's a fucking super famous comedian. Man, I don't know if I want to open. I wonder if I should have got two packets. One to keep forever and one to play. Try and collect five brown stars as quickly as you can. But whatever you do, don't pick Pooh Man. <laughs> The fun card and terrifying monster chase game. Please place the cards face down. Take turns to pick, but you can lose everything if you pick and get caught by the dreaded Boo Man. Contains 30 cards, rules, plus 10 additional black cards for you to create your very own personalised deck. Let's fucking get this open, man. Open. Open says a me. Ah, uh, that was from Popeye. Me. Boo Man is a fun interactive card and chase game for two or more players. Ah, well, I can't play it on my fucking own now, can I? Collect five brown stars. So does that count as two? Character cards. To win the game, collect cards totaling five brown stars. So there you go, that does count as two. Right, I wasn't going to bore you with the rules, but the game is a lot better than just a card game. One player has to be the Poo Man, and he has to try and catch the other players. So Poo Man places all the cards face down, and the other players sit in a semicircle. And Pooh Man is the only one allowed to touch the cards. So the youngest player goes first and picks a card by pointing to it. Only the Pooh Man is allowed to touch the cards. The Pooh Man slowly turns the card over, creating as much suspense as possible. The Pooh Man should try and reveal the card so all players see it at the same time. If the card that's revealed is a character card that is placed in front of the player, and it's the next player's turn to choose. If the card is a Poo Man card, the dreaded chase begins. The player who is the Poo Man must immediately run after the players whilst counting to 10 in as scary a voice as possible. If the Poo Man touches a player within 10 seconds, they lose all of their cards and are put into a discard pile. After 10 seconds have passed, the players return from wherever they may be to resume the game. <laughs> The Pooper Man is the most dreaded card in the whole deck. None of the special cards work against the Pooper Man, and if they are shouted by mistake, they must be surrendered. The Pooper Man is twice as strong as Poo Man, so he can chase players for an entire 20 seconds. <laughs> Power Flush. Poosicle. Mm. Poos I had to pick up Poosicles the other day from the back garden because the dogs had pooed and then it froze. Basil Browner. I like the look of Basil Browner, he's cool. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten blank cards to create your own characters. Do I want to destroy my own, like, do I want to destroy the blank ones? See, this is the fucking collector in me, is it? Fuck it. Right, guys, you can get this on eBay, right? I remember the fucking website. It's probably just mariclarwood.com or something like that. But go on eBay and then just type in Pooh Man Card Game and you'll find this. At Pooh Man Cards. Pooh well, so you can get it off of pooman.co.uk, but you'll find it on eBay as well, and it's the same seller. I shall enjoy the game, but not until I have somebody else to play it with. Ah. Is there any characters that are like, yeah, I've got five fucking stars, you win just finding me. So I'm going to do one ultimate winning card, and then I'm going to mark it. So when I'm not playing as Puma and I'm playing as one of the other players, I'll know what the card is so I can pick it every time. <laughs> right. right, fuck it. You're not, I'm not going to try... Or am I? This is amazing content. Hey, look at me trying to close a box. No, it's got his signature there. That's not his signature. It's just changed the font. <laughs> I've just binged the fuck out of nearly all his videos. The guy is a comedy genius and clearly smart enough to not give you his real signature so you can't go and forge it on checks. Do people still use checks? Check that. Check this out, Grandad. Just stopped watching your live stream 
about a minute and a half ago. It started snowing here now, so we're having snowball fights with the neighbours. Yay! That's a good social distancing sport, is it? Snowball fight. Hmm, are you still getting hit in the face with a snowball that probably got COVID on it from somebody's hand? It's a tricky world we live in these days. <laughs> Yeah, it does look, it looks heavier there, eh? with a smaller field of view. You're right, but clearly I'm going to fucking do my own uh, cards, with the blank cards. I'm going to draw my own cards before I play the game. So I don't know if the pen's going to work. This is the tester card anyway, so I'm doing my very first uh, power card. Yeah, I'm sure That looks like it might smudge off. It doesn't look like there's still a wee blot of puddle there, a wee puddle and I'm like, fuck it, I'll go for it man, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Cat, please, come on. What's going on mate, what's going on? Just thought you'd just jump up and fuck with me, did you? I'm trying to get this done. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'll give you some attention. I'll give you some attention. Right, I'll come back to this in a minute then. <laughs> Shit, I smudged that. I fucking knew I was going to... I tried to wipe a hair off and I smudged it. Tom Kite rhymes with... Poop. So he's got the ability to flick the shit away. So if you draw a Poo Man card, play your Tom Kite card before the Poo Man starts running after you then you get to stop the Poo Man in his tracks. You just flick him, well, use this card to flick the Poo Man away, and then you can carry on with the game. He does have a potato head. He does have a potato head, because I'm, I'm kind of copying Marek's own, because I'm doing, like, that's clearly meant to be a, caric a caricaturization, caricature of Marek. It doesn't, where's the poo? There he is. There's, there's my idea for him. Mr. <laughs> Potato Boy, and he's the only one that gets you five stars, so if you draw him, if you pick him out, you win the game instantly. Ah, fuck, look, I've just smudged it again trying to pull it off the blue tack. Well, don't touch the pen bit there. Well, no, I didn't, mate, that bit was done, like, that arm was done uh, at the start of the picture. So that had, that's had longer to dry, and it's still smudged. Well, now we know it. We've used this card to test other pens, just draw a line on it to see if the pen works or yeah. not. But in the meantime, Mr. Potato Boy. I think there's a. You can do Mr. Sprout. You can do another. You can do a sprout. You do a sprout. Sprouts make you fat, and that's all part of poops and toilets, is it? Right, cool. That's a good idea for a card, mate. Let's do that then. That could be my special card. Okay. When I eat with a sprout, I fart. Do you? <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Have a pickled onion monster munch. You're fucking weirdo. <laughs> Not good, mate, is that? <laughs>